What's up? Welcome to the Yo Corey G Show. I'm Corey Gregory, and I'm going to answer all your fitness questions right now. Oh, brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. Yo, Corey G. We have our first question here from Jay. Jay wants to know, how many hours of sleep do you normally get a night? So Jay, that's a great question. So how many hours of sleep do I get? I run on about five hours, dude. So I literally try to go to bed at 10.30 and now get up around 3. And people ask me all the time, like, you know, are you, how do you recover from that? And I say, 11 covers, 2 elite totals. Um, build a business and multiple bodybuilding shows like your body adapts. I think I can cheat the system a little bit because of supplements, because of training, and because honestly, I got my food right. So that's how you only sleep five hours. Yo, Corey G. We are, our next question here is from Joe. Joe wants to know what is one tip or advice you would give to a guy like him in college just trying to make it into the fitness industry? Joe, great question. Look. If you're trying to get into the fitness industry, one thing I did, I think really well, was I went from event to event. So bodybuilding show, powerlifting meet, um, Olympic lifting meet, the trifecta, fitness modeling stuff. Like you have to set yourself apart from everybody else. So constantly you gotta be making gains for yourself. And the key is capturing the content, brother. Like if you're capturing the process, you don't need to be Mr. Olympia to capture the process and tell the story. So if you want to get into the industry, it's got to go from event to event and capture it, man. Capture it. Yo, Corey G. Our next question here is from Logan. Logan wants to know if you could give your younger self as a young trainer one piece of advice, what would it be? Logan, great question. What would I tell my younger self? Start Olympic lifting because that would be really helpful now as I transition a little bit into CrossFit. Be patient, because you're going to work with Arnold one day. And, you know, do things like Bill Phillips did. Read more, and, hmm, I think, take yourself serious, but try not to be like 100 mile an hour all the time. Like, try to enjoy it a little bit more sometimes, because sometimes I have, like, um, it's hard for me to turn my brain off because I want to be successful so bad that you always fight. And my wife helps me do this a lot. You always fight that balance. So just be mindful of the balance. That's what I tell myself. Yo, Corey G. Our last question here is from Alec. Alec wants to know, how do you stay motivated to keep doing what you're doing? Alec, I was going to keep doing push-ups, but I'm getting tired. Kind of goes to your question. How do I keep motivated? It's you, man. It's everybody watching the show. Like, it's the answers that I'm given that could give you some motivation for what you're trying to accomplish. Like, the reason why I do what I do every day is because I feel responsible that I have a platform to try to create impact. Don't get it twisted. I've created these things to make, you know, generations of Gregory's different from a financial standpoint, from, you know, just the mind and focus that they can do what their true passion is, that I'm leading the way, I'm leading the charge. I was the guy that started that. So when it's bigger than you, bro, like it's not about me, it's about them, it's about you guys, that's why I'm so motivated every day. I just get done answering your questions, hitting some push-ups, and for all your supplement needs, make sure you go to MaxEffortMuscle.com and if you want to be on the show, you better hashtag YoCoreyG. Thank you.